We've got fruits, vegetables, hot weather, pollen, all the good stuff about spring coming about. And with that, as many of you probably know, we have bedding season. If you don't know what bedding season is, the best way to probably explain it to you is when the brim, crappie, catfish, bass, all that start to push up. They start to fan beds, to lay eggs, protect fry, all that good stuff. And with bedding season comes bed fishing for largemouth bass. And since it's another Fish Fact Friday, and this is the perfect time of year to talk about largemouth bass, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So without further ado, let's talk about some largemouth. The one and only largemouth bass. It's a carnivorous freshwater game fish that is generally native to Eastern and Central North America in Canada, United States, and in Northern Mexico. But over time, it has been widely introduced elsewhere, including Africa and Asia. The scientific name for the largemouth bass is gonna be about right here because I don't know that word. And basically what that name tells you is the bass really is just a big sunfish. But if you're like me and you don't know how to pronounce that biggin, let me hit you with some common names. Wide mouth bass, never heard of that one. Big mouth bass, eh. Bucket mouth, yep. Potter's fish, potter's fish. Green trout, Gilsdorf bass. That's a new one. LMB, I've heard it, don't use it. Northern largemouth and southern largemouth. Haven't heard half of those, but I mean, if you have, leave me a thumbs up. And even if you haven't, still leave me a thumbs up. <laughs> the largemouth bass is the state fish of Georgia, Mississippi, and the state freshwater fish of Florida and Alabama. The coloration of a largemouth bass is most of the time olive green to a grayish green, marked by a series of dark black blotches forming a jagged horizontal stripe, which is their lateral line. And we're gonna have to count our losses on this one guys but largemouth bass females do get way bigger than the males the record holding largemouth bass comes in at 29.5 inches and it was in fact a female and this fish was estimated to be at least 15 years old even from juvenile age largemouth bass are solely carnivorous eating small bait fish freshwater shrimp and insects going up to bluegill shad snails crawfish small frogs snakes salamanders and sometimes even bats when they get somewhat bigger and adults can consume pretty much anything ranging from baby alligators mammals and even small water birds and adult largemouth bass do cannibalize some of the young every now and then so there's that Largemouth bass habitat can range from anywhere to ponds, streams, rivers, lakes, swamps, and even some brackish water bays. And now on to bedding season. Largemouth bass usually become adults and begin spawning when they're about a year old. In the northern regions of the United States, this usually occurs anywhere from late April to early July. In the southern states, where the largest and healthiest bass typically live, this process can begin in March and is usually over by June. Males create nests by moving debris, brushing the bottom with their tails, and guarding said area from other fish. After finishing, the males will swim near the nest looking for a female that passes by. Once the eggs are laid, the male will guard the nest until they hatch, which only takes about two to four days in the southern United States and in northern Mexico, but it takes a little bit longer for the northern largemouth bass. And by the time the fryer is strong enough to leave, mom, dad, and all the babies are switching to summer mode, which is where they're more focused on gorging themselves with anything they can fit in their mouths than anything else. And that's gonna be it for today's Fish Fact Friday. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you aren't already, subscribe and hit that like button. I'm gonna get out of here. I hope every single one of you are having a great and fantastic day. And I will be seeing you, say it with me, later.